Alright guys, good morning, YouTube. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got all this stuff installed yesterday. This, uh, I guess you can call it a timing case. I don't know the technical term. But I used this, the gasket and silicone. Um, put the silicone on both sides. So, um, still spins freely. Overnight. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set up an, an assembly line of pistons and rods. So, I did chase all the threads for the ARPs. Oh, that was loud. For the ARP rod bolts so basically it just drew an arrow so this is how I'll assemble it this part of the piston or the rod goes up as you can see it's weird angle so uh, yeah so the piston will go front will go that way so I'm gonna set up an assembly line set all that up um, yeah, my my camera got overheated last night or yesterday because of the heat and it just wouldn't turn on after I installed the uh, timing case, I guess you can call it. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, this engine stand's holding up pretty good. So it's probably about 250 pounds, 300 pounds so far. Um, yeah, I will retorque, uh, the little squirters. I did find out that they want those, man, now I forgot already. I think they want those at 18 foot-pounds. I want to say 18 foot-pounds. Um, and I did 133 inch-pounds, which I don't know if that converts to the same or not. But I will retorque those. I did put Loctite on them. So they're not going anywhere. Anyway. So um, I do have the oil pump. Here is a Melling oil pump. Um, I was looking for bolts for it. Um, I cannot remember what bolts went where. Because that was two and a half years ago. Um, but... All the bolts that are here are for this engine. Uh, but I'm pretty sure these three go on the back, maybe. Nope. But anyway, I don't know why they're shiny. They might go on the exhaust somewhere. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I do know these, these are oil pan bolts. Because I got the little nub on them. Um... Yeah, and then those are flex plate bolts, and these are all front cover bolts. Uh, there's a lot of exhaust bolts in here. Don't really remember what this thing's for. I'm sure I'll figure it out when the time comes. But anyway, uh... Yeah, so I'm just going through, getting bolts, getting nuts, trying to organize crap. These are all head bolts. These are all C-clips for the wrist pins that I'm not using. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, yeah. So the valve train I can put on after I put the head on, obviously. Um, I'm just going to go over everything, clean everything up really good. Uh, obviously all the, uh, where all the rods go. Clean all those up really good. Stick the pistons and everything on here and then put the bearings on. So 
that will probably be the next video. Like I said, I'm trying to make this a 24 part video. And uh, I've already got six. This will be seven. And uh, I'm not quite sure I'll make it there. I might uh, be making it a uh, like a 15, 15 to 16 something part video. But anyway, anyway, I'm going to set up this assembly, uh, this little assembly line, and uh, go from there. I don't know if you guys remember, I do have a cooked cooked rod. This rod is cooked. So I did have to get a a used rod. So those rods, all these rods are good. If you want to compare them. So you can see all the bluing on this one. This is the rod that got seized mostly. I think uh, this one was the one that was seized because when I had to take all the flex paint bolts off I had to I just started loosening all the connecting rods that I could get to and uh, I remember uh, disconnecting I think it was three or four whichever one it was I got it loose and then the engine was able to be free and uh, yeah I think this is the one that they they ground all of them down but I'm pretty sure this one the one of these two three or four needed the most work um, they did balance it and everything at the machine shop, which is why it's ground down in certain spots, and uh, it's got new drill marks so that they can balance it after they turned it. So anyway, all right, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe over here. Check out my boy One and Glenn. Watch my last video. You can watch the whole series. By uh, going down and, uh, man, I don't know why I can't remember it. I click on it every day. Anyway, it's the uh, favorites list. I don't know. Whatever it is. The playlist down below. All right, guys. Later.